Welcome to our channel. Lots of summaries of interesting films. Keep it updated. Press subscribe and turn on notifications. To support us, you can like and share our videos. Enjoy watching. The narration of a young woman named Marie Joseph, who was born and nurtured in a convent, opens the movie like a fairy tale. She is a free-spirited rebel who frequently gets in problems with the nuns, especially the abbess. King Louis XIV of France is getting ready to address the French populace when an assassin opens fire, interrupting Louis's speech. He is struck but not hurt as the man is taken into custody. Dr. Labert informs Louis, who is concerned about his own death, that there is a unique aquatic monster that contains magical abilities that can make him immortal. Captain Eve de la Croix leads a company of fishermen that Louis requests. They come across the creature, a mermaid, and start to use a net to catch her. Her partner is also captured and makes an effort to escape the fisherman, but Eve merely lets him swim away before returning to France. Labert informs Louis that the process to make him immortal entails removing the mermaid's organ and is carried out during an eclipse. Father Francois La Chase is the only person who opposes it. The convent where Marie Joseph is residing receives a communication from La Chase at the king's request, and the abbess is eager to get rid of her. La Chase arrives to the convent with a group to bring the girl back, giving her the notion that she is going to Versailles to perform music. When Marie Joseph first arrives at Versailles, he is in awe of how lovely the location is. She makes friends with a servant named Magali, but everyone else sees her as an ordinary outsider because they don't realize she is the king's daughter. The son of a wealthy baron, Jean-Michel Lintelac, is who Louis encounters the following morning. Louis is informed by Lintelac that his father is dying and is in critical condition. Louis explains to La Chase that everyone would gain if his father's title was passed down because Lintelac stands to inherit a large sum of money. While walking with Magali, Marie Joseph notices that people are gazing at her. She meets Eve for the first time in a fountain, where she instantly falls in love. Marie Joseph stumbles and falls into the fountain as Louis and his soldiers arrive. She is pulled out and introduced to her father for the first time by Lintelac, though he continues to withhold information about their relationship. Marie Joseph is planning to practice music in the meantime since it is one of her talents. The mermaid is brought by the men into a room below the castle. After learning that she is depressed and miserable as a result of being separated from her mate, Louis instructs the guys to treat her so that the process can proceed without a hitch. Marie Joseph later feels a vibration against her heart as she attempts to practice in her chamber and follows the sound she hears. She is directed there, where the mermaid is housed. When Marie Joseph first encounters the mermaid, she astounds him. Marie Joseph claims that the mermaid is generating some sort of melodic noise which she syncs up with her violin playing, and Eve comes by to grab her. The following day, Marie Joseph performs with the royal company before Magali assists her in getting ready for a ball that will take place later that afternoon. Marie Joseph enjoys a dance with Louis in front of everyone as they all marvel at her beauty. Later, she discovers him outside painting a portrait of his deceased wife. Marie Joseph hears him say that she makes him think of her. Lintelac is given the title of Duke by Louis, who then hosts a feast in his honor. Eve and his crew are telling the story of how they sailed to capture the mermaid when Lintelac makes nasty remarks, which Eve responds to with further snide remarks of his own. Marie Joseph returns to the mermaid after dinner and enters the water to get closer to her. Marie Joseph breaks her arm severely when she falls off the horses while riding with Eve later. Everyone believes there must be another solution, but Labyrinth claims that in order to prevent infection, the arm will need to be amputated. Later, Eve carries Marie Joseph into the sea with Magali to witness the mermaid. The mermaid utilizes her abilities to entirely restore Marie's arm. Joseph's the mermaid's real strength astounds Eve and Magali. Marie Joseph believes that Louis brought the mermaid to France to cure the country's ailing people after observing how Marie Arm Joseph has recovered, but she is informed that the mermaid is only there for the king's needs. Later, she and Eve take a stroll around the courtyard before kissing. In order for them to benefit from Lintelac's wealth, Louis sets up Lintelac's marriage to Marie Joseph. After spending more time with the mermaid, who took her swimming, La Chase summons Marie Joseph. 
Louis tells Marie Joseph the truth about being her father and then expresses his desire for her to wed Lintelec. Louis feels guilty after she declines and flees in tears. When La Chase visits the mermaid, they are able to speak telepathically. He confronts Labyrinth about killing her to carry out the king's instructions after realizing she is a live being with feelings, but Labyrinth is perfectly prepared to do so. La Chase complains to Louis, who shares his views and is unmoved. Eve is the one who will capture her, according to a vision Marie Joseph has while visiting the mermaid. Marie Joseph is made aware of the king's true intentions for the mermaid when Eve slips the image of the procedure under her door. After destroying the musical instruments, she confronts Louis about his strategy. She promises to wed Lintelac if he lets the mermaid free, but he disobeys her demands. La Chase visits Marie Chamber Joseph to stealthily entice her to help save the mermaid while everyone gets ready for the wedding. The two enter the chamber where Eve is likewise attempting to free the mermaid. He is determined to set Marie Joseph free despite the fact that she reminds him of the time he imprisoned the mermaid. Labyrinth and another goon find them, but they fight them off so that the mermaid has time to flee. After being shot by Labyrinth, Eve plunges into the water. As she swims out, the mermaid pulls Eve along with her. Labyrinth is pulled underwater after being caught in a whirling wheel by Marie Joseph. When Marie Joseph finally reaches the cliff's edge, she can see that Eve is fine. When Louis and his men come, they are ready to carry out the process by shooting the mermaid, but Marie Joseph gives Louis the option of choosing to save himself or his daughter. She leaps from the cliff and crashes into the ocean, suffering serious injuries. Louis is forced to order his troops to stand down with their weapons so that the mermaid can save Marie Joseph after she is grabbed by the mermaid. While Louis watches them leave, she and Eve swim to his boat, and the mermaid swims back to her home. Louis is informed by La Chase that he is now a great man and king. Marie Joseph and Eve set sail for Atlantis in order for Marie Joseph to reunite with the mermaid and show her the city up close. 